Hello, guys. In this lesson, we're going to talk about managing your shop and catalog. Let's get started. You can use Business Suite to view your business assets, such as your Facebook shop and catalogs. To access your Facebook shop and catalog using Business Suite, click on the Commerce menu. You will be redirected to the Commerce Manager page. On the drop down menu, choose the business account that is connected with your Facebook shop. If you haven't set up a shop tab on your Facebook page yet, you can do that as you access the Commerce Manager using Business Suite. Under Assets, look for the Shop section and click on Add Shop. This page will allow you to start creating a shop on your Facebook page. Once a Facebook shop is created successfully, an ID will be shown here. If you haven't finished setting up your Facebook shop yet, you can see that here. You may continue setting up the Facebook shop as you click on the Continue Setup link. If you click on Manage List, you can view the Facebook shops that are not yet completed. This allows you to select incomplete shops and delete them. Under Catalog, you can view the items that are added to your catalog's inventory. It shows a summary of each product and the price. Under Events, you can set up tracking for your items, whether the items that people are interested in viewing on your website are also in your catalog. By connecting to tracking, you will connect a Facebook pixel to your catalog. You can even assign people so that they can help manage your business shop and the items in your catalog. On your Commerce Manager settings, go to the Permissions section, then click the button Add People. Now click Next. This is the area where you need to set permissions to an employee. Under Commerce Account, you can allow people to gain partial access. You can give them permission to manage shops. This will allow your employee to manage your Facebook shop and collections in the Shop Builder. If you don't need your employee to edit the sales channels, you can leave this option. If you need them to manage promotional features such as Affiliate, discounts, product launches, and live shopping, you can enable this radio button. If you need them to view the shop's insights and data, such as product page views, then you can enable this radio button. If you need to give full control so that they can manage your commerce account settings and sales channels, click this radio button. Under Catalog, you can see the option Manage Catalog. This gives them control over your catalog items. If you need to give full control so that they can manage your commerce account settings and sales channels, click this radio button. You can see that all of these options under Partial Access are now disabled. Now the invitation is sent to this user. You can even see a summary of what access you've given to this user. As the user receives the invitation in their email, they can view the access given to them using this Facebook page. Now click Get Started. Then type in the name that will be shown inside the business. Then click Continue. Now click Accept Invitation. Once the invitation is accepted, the user will be redirected to the Facebook Business Suite page. If you check the permissions under Commerce Manager Settings, you can see the added employee to help you manage your shop. If you want to target audiences on Google so that they will click on the ad to subscribe, we have a marketing app that can help you build your list with accurate leads to add to your autoresponder. Ads to List allows you to get signups from ads, not from people mailing for you, and nobody has to fill out a form and avoid leads with fake information. And you can send mails to these leads from your autoresponder. Ads to List is a two-step forget system to grow your list forever. Step 1. Make lead gen ads on Google. Step 2. Connect ads to list to your ad. Then watch the leads pour in. Try ads to list now. Just go to the website getadstolist.in. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.